Hi, hello, welcome back. Today, uh, we're going on an adventure. Um, it's been a, it's been a Saturday. It's been a busy Saturday morning already. I got up, uh, did a little workout routine, and uh, had some breakfast. Worked on the cover of my my next zine that, I'm, that I've been working on. Did some cutting on a lino cut. Okay, so unfortunately, editing this footage, I found that the audio, I think while I was driving, got all garbled and mashed up, and it sounded terrible. So I'm doing a little voiceover here. Uh, what was happening was I was I was driving out to Verona, Wisconsin. About a, It's about a half-hour drive from my house to pick up a pallet's worth of National Geographics. And it turned out that a pallet's worth of National Geographic magazines is uh, is a lot of magazines. And this little adventure pretty much cost me my entire Saturday. Uh, it took two trips of loading up boxes full of these magazines. I believe it's this is basically the last time I will have to buy any sort of magazine for collaging. Uh, I should be set for the rest of my life. <laughs> I got out there and I started loading loading them up and then realized that it was just weighing down uh, the van like crazy. And luckily I was able to just get it in two trips. All right, let's get back to the video. All right, it's Sunday afternoon and there's there's a lot going on. It's uh, It's been a busy weekend. I have things I would love to do. I have new zine printed out, and I'd like to, these are the covers, and I'd like to fold fold these, staple these together. My print, my lino cut of um, our cat Baxter, uh, I would love to do a test print and maybe print some tote bags. I also have this. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is everything from the palette of National Geographics. Look at this. Um, 1946, 1928. Baxter's checking it out. Um, incredible. I, it's crazy. I can't believe I scored this. And <laughs> it's just nuts. I'm thinking I'm going to probably have to do some major rearranging down in the basement and maybe try to score some shelving. But I don't get to do any of that today. I have to go find out how much we owe the IRS in taxes. So that's sort of a bummer. And then also my seven-year-old isn't feeling good, so i go finish up the taxes and then maybe watch some Bluey with the, the seven-year-old and uh, just kind of chill out. It's a rainy Sunday and it's okay if everything doesn't get done in one day. Maybe maybe I can still print sometime this week even though the basement is a is a gigantic mess. Where is he? There he is. All right. Goodbye. This is my favorite part of a new block print, is just inking it for the first time.
in a good rhythm here. I think this is going to be my last one for this evening, but I thought I would walk through my steps here. Um, I've got a piece of cardboard in between inside the tote bag here. Um, not so much to keep it from bleeding, but just to kind of give it a secure spot whenever I print. This is the Speedball Fabric ink, which is great because you can just print and then just like let it sit and you don't have to iron it or worry about anything. This is supposedly a softer brayer. Um, S-D-E-S-S-D-E-E, -E -E, so it supposedly sucks up more ink, um, which is supposed to be good for printing on fabric. I'm putting a lot of ink on here. I feel like I wouldn't normally do it so much, but the canvas bags really soak it up. So I'm not... I'm just being overly generous with the ink. As far as putting them on, on the tote bag, I'm just eyeballing it. So here we go. Throwing him down, pressing him, make sure he's in the spot. Um, I'm using this lovely press that I got off of Etsy. And I'm pushing down and holding for about five to six seconds. Okay, taking a break. Don't want to be so strong that you, you know, bust the press. Okay. And you're not there yet. And I take the Baron and I go over it. I think after you do a couple prints, you know where some spots might be. Like the tips of the ears are sketchy and then like the bottom of the cassette tape. So I really try to get in there. Okay, we're going again. And then just one more time. I'm just, I'm kind of overdoing it, but I don't like to waste like the fabric. Come on off. That's the best one yet. I feel great about this. Holy cow. Good job, Baxter. All right. Okay, I don't know where we've left off in this, uh, whatever this video is. Uh, and so we're going to pick up. Here's where we are. <laughs> I have gotten through almost all the boxes. Let's take a look. This is the state of the new uh, National Geographic collection. I've got about five boxes left that are spilling out. And so these shelves are two, they're two rows deep, each one. <laughs> uh, there were there were a couple boxes that had books in them, which is pretty cool uh, to go through and destroy. That'll be fun. I went ahead and ordered another one of these shelves. And I'm going to put that over here later in the week when it gets here. And then I can hopefully be done with this project but the rest of the basement is totally destroyed and i would rather work on some printing projects for this market that i'm working towards but i kind of also want to clean up <laughs> I, I feel like i'm gonna make space to where i can print a little bit and go through some printing and then then i'll work on cleaning How's that sound? Sounds okay to me. Good luck to me. Here we go. Okay, we're somewhat functional here with cleaning. 
Next, I'm printing some copies of a new zine. It's called Some Drawings of My Cats. And if, if I end up selling this next zine online, which I probably will, this will probably come free with it as like a little bonus. Here's a flip through of uh, some drawings of my cat's zine. This is our youngest cat, Baxter, who we got a few years ago. Uh, this is the starring Willie Baxter and Humphrey, who we lost uh, a few years ago, uh, a few months before we got Baxter. So this is Willie. This is Baxter as a kitten sitting on my shoulder. This is Humphrey with both of our kids when they were babies. And then Baxter, William, William, Humphrey in a bowl of, I think it was crocuses. I don't know, some plants. He shouldn't have been sitting there being, being bad. These are two pencil drawings that I did. Uh, whenever I did this 100-day challenge where I drew every day and posted it to Instagram a couple years ago. This is from a, the recent lino cut that I've been printing. Uh, this is Willie, and then those are Humphrey's paws. Willie and Humphrey. That's his tongue sticking out, but it's kind of hard to tell with it not being in color. Uh, this is the sketch for the recent lino cut that I've also been printing recently. Recent, recent, recent. <laughs> uh, Baxter and Baxter. Um, more Baxters. But, yeah. And then Willie and I resting. Taking a nap. That's it. Alright, so let's finish this video. What we're doing is uh, these... The colors were fabric marker. I just made a little stencil and uh, colored them in. And sometimes the registration was a little off because I just eyeballed it. And then I'm going to come in with uh, just a, a Posca pen and write uh, my band's name on there. I'm using this as like a guide because I tried a couple like earlier and they'd be like way off over the side. So I made this little guide to kind of get it roughly correct. So I think this is going to be the end of the video. I feel like it's probably been long enough. I'm sorry there was no real goal in mind other than to just document stuff that I was making. Yeah, we've got lots of stuff printed gearing towards this art market, which will be happening in May. Maybe here's some footage of me playing the drums to close us out.